serve the mantle. That mantle, serve it. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 22, verse 30, if you serve the mantle, Psalm 22, verse 30, a, pers- a posterity, posterity, Psalm 22, verse 20, no, verse 30, he said, deliver my soul. No, verse 30, verse 30. If I have that your translation, I will, I will enjoy that translation. Verse 30. He said, a posterity shall serve him. It will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. Okay. King James said, a sea shall serve him. And it shall account the Lord for generation. Posterity means a transgenerational blessing. Eh? A transgenerational blessing. That the blessing that passed from you to your children, children, children. That by instruction of your, I'm waiting for you, by destruction, by serving a mantle, all right? Future generations will serve him. They will speak of the Lord of the, of, to the old generation. Future generations will serve you when you serve the mantle. Just look at Elisha. Elisha. By serving Elijah. You see how God make him receive double portion of what Elijah carried. And how do you serve in this man too? We well, are talking about instruction. Uh, should I say honor the man too? Bless the man too? Let me tell you some principles that work for me. I bless my prophet every time. I bless him. I succeed in life of my prophet every time. Commanded the day as we are finishing, I'm sending the money. I, I developed to a extent that 10% of every money I receive go to my to my prophet. Because there's something a carry, there's something that I don't need to labor for, just a word, I will get it. Because there's some battle you have conquered that me, I don't need to conquer that battle. He has conquered it. There's a realm it is now that I don't need to fast, but just a word. Serve with your energy. Serve with time. Serve with your resources. Make your prophet happy. You know, there's something I don't like to share to you because if I share, I would like to the priest, may if he give me something. I just tell myself, there's God has been so faithful. God has been so faithful to be sincere. Uh, I was just thinking yesterday that to write a book to see somebody down to narrate my story to the person, how long we continue this journey. The first time I was ordained to, as a prophet, I was just a teenager. And the second time I will ordain again, I was just 18 years. And the first time I will lead a church, I was 20 years. That's the reason when I see teenagers, I want to encourage them. I become the youngest <laughs> pastor in the deep Christian church of God at the age of 20. So I realized it that I was calculating seriously that sometimes it's going to be about 30 years in this journey. You know, I started very tender age, even at primary school, started preaching. So very, very, because I was grew up with a pastor. So I know what it takes when you bless your prophet. I know what it takes. Yeah, I understand the social media is training us different things. They can tell us different things about the prophet. But social media could not be my teacher. The Bible should be your guide. All manners of things happen in social media. Yeah, some of them are good. Some of them are correct. Some of them are not correct. Some pastors actually abuse these things. But I can tell you, even though we don't ask you to give, there's some people put us on salary and they pay us every month. Say, God led me to pay you. And when somebody comes to me, God says, I should be paying you every month. I, it's not a surprise because I told God, I will not receive salary that you will pay me because I'm working for you. And God has been so faithful. To me, this year, there's, some, there's somebody who has been blessing me for 13 years. One month for these 13 years, he has not failed. And the money has not gone down. No. It started with 200,000. It never goes down. Said, this month, I'll give 100,000. It always increases. 
Even when foreigners come and don't give you an increment, when they don't increase my own, they increase that. Praise God. A lady, I tell a lady, I say, in social time, you will travel out of the country. He said, if I go, I'll pay you. And he traveled abroad. Since he traveled, she has been sending 10%, according to her, to me. Amen. Every month, I know how much she sent to the church account, and every month, I know what she sent to me. So I know is that God answer my prayer when I said, you were paying me. So I don't need to come and cajole you. Uh, I don't need to come and cajole you. Say, oh, you must give me. If you don't give me, uh, you need to show your seed of your age. You need to say, I don't need to tell you seed of age. What's that lie? Praise God. But it's true that God has been so faithful. And I want to pray for you today. The purpose of the prophetic service is to revise every negative prophecy over your life. So I'm going to stand in the office of the prophet and I'm going to speak to your life today in the name of Jesus. Let's rise up in our feet.